That boat's definitely not at the Riverside Museum because the Riverside Museum is over there. So, got my boats confused. <laughs> it's honestly so orange. I really hope I can get over to the Riverside Museum on time to see it because I spent so much time taking videos and stuff. So I'm literally probably going to run over there right now. <laughs> I wasn't actually planning on doing a video until I got my new camera equipment, but it's such a nice night and Given the usual Scottish weather, I just didn't want to risk not getting it on camera, so I'll maybe wait a little while and see. And if there's another night like this when I have my camera, then I'll obviously record it on that. I'm just gonna keep holding my phone while on the move because I really want to capture this. However, I'm already running late as usual. I mean, how stunning is that? I saw it the other night, but it was so cloudy that you couldn't really properly see the sun but looks like it'll be a good one tonight just like i thought <laughs> i've not fully missed it you can still sort of see it but it's obviously behind the riverside museum and that's the riverside boat that i was referring to <laughs> not the one that was about two miles back yeah it probably isn't the safest you could end up in the river clyde oh my god that just looks so sinister what the fuck you can actually see the water from the clyde i probably end up dropping my phone down there. To be honest, it looked just as nice on the way over. But the other day that I was watching it, the sun was more kind of over towards the boat. Does that not look like somewhere that someone would be brutally murdered? Just need to really watch my foot. Ah! So even though the sun is setting at a different position from last time due to where the earth is currently on the solar system, this is still one of my absolute favorite places to visit regardless of the sunset. The distillery on the banks is super cute, the building is so classy and you can see the reflection of the sunset in the windows. The clock tower on the top of the building against the blue sky is another one of my favourite views. It's the first time that I've actually seen any liquids being mixed or distilled if you may, so I even got to see something new despite having been there a few times already. Just before I left, I spotted that the moon was out, so all in all, managed to see some lovely sights. So I can't even be slightly bothered walking down there, but there is SWG3. Had many a wild night in there. Just thought I'd come and get this graffiti because, I mean, that's just crazy talent. Before I went home, I headed towards Partick just to have a little look at the other graffiti at SWG3. I think this was done in the last couple of years at Yardworks. I have seen it before, but I've never properly looked at it, but the level of artistry is insane. I can't colour in the lines of a colouring book. So yeah, the skill has to be commended for sure. And I would absolutely recommend a little walk down by the Riverside and the River Clyde if you want to see some lovely Glasgow sites. Thanks for tuning in to the video and I hope you subscribe.